So a while ago I made a video showing you guys how to add your offline screen to, to your Twitch channel and it got a pretty good response. So I felt like why not make a video showing you guys how to make a very simple offline screen because maybe at the time someone watched that video they didn't even have a good offline screen yet. So that is what I'm going to show you guys today. If you find this video helpful then please be sure to leave a like on the video. And if you want to see more videos just like this one then make sure you subscribe to the channel with the bell and notifications on. Now I'm not a professional graphic designer or anything. Not nowhere near it either but i do know a very easy way to make your very own offline screen to your twitch channel so let's get straight into it now in today's video i'm going to be using a photoshop website called pixelr.com and the reason that i use this website is because yeah, i really just love the design and it's very easy to use but if you have another photoshop website that you just prefer then feel free to use that website it really doesn't matter it's basically the same process either way but if you will if you go to pixelr.com pixelr.com then we'll just take it here and click on advanced pixel re then hit create new and offline screen should be in the resolution 1920 times 1080 so you click on that and create you can name it whatever you want this will take you to this little plain picture over here and now we want to uh, we want to start with the background of your offline screen now the first thing we obviously want to do is make your background and there is one rule that you have to follow and that is that the background should be at least a bit alike or the colors in the background should be at least a little bit a, a bit alike like to your main channel color so for example for me my channel art and everything my channel color is red if your ma main channel color is blue then they have a blue background if it is i don't know yellow then have a yellow background you get what i mean so the first thing you can do to find your background is just basically search in the color and then background or something like that too and then you can basically just search around and see if you can find a background of it that you think fits your channel. If you just scroll down and you feel like you you find one, then save the picture to your computer. Go into Pixel R, layers, and then add a picture as layer and select your picture basically. Um, but if you can't find a picture, then there are two more ways you can actually uh, make a background. And then basically go to back to pixelr.com, the website or yeah, the picture that you're gonna edit. And then you can go to the gradient tool. This is the first way. And if you click, and if you click on the color here, uh, here, then you can actually choose, choose which colors it should, which colors it should be gradient in. So, uh, in, in my case, my channel color, my channel main color is red. So I'm gonna start here by clicking this, and um, my the first color should be like some sort of light red and like this you see that it starts with like light red and then we select that it should fade away to some sort of very dark red so like this we hit ok again and here you can get a little preview down here of how the green will look like so it starts over with a very light red and then goes over to a very strong red so i think it's pretty good then you go over from this and here you can see some stuff like opacity and the, and stuff but you you don't have to do that actually so from here if you feel like your gradient color is good then you just hold left click and drag it however you were from the anchor point that you want the gradient to start from uh, until the, where you want the gradient to end so maybe i want it like this and then it looks like this for me at least i, I actually i actually think this is pretty good if you don't feel like you don't want a gradient color basically just want a plain color so um, then you can actually just do it like this. You select, select which color you want down here in the in the left upper one, uh, and select which color you want. So let's say I want red for mine because the the col the main color is red for my channel. So we hit OK. Then you can go to the fill the fill tool over here, fill, and just click on the picture. Then the whole the whole picture should be filled or your whole background will be red. Now I'm not a big fan of plain colors because the picture just or the background just looks so empty but if you like this for some reason then you feel free to go with it but I'm gonna stick with the back the gradient one. So when actually the one of the most important things are is done the background then you want to start with the small little details in the picture. So the first thing is to add your logo if you don't have one 
then I suggest that you get one because a logo, having a logo for a channel is just uh, one of the main things in your branding as a channel. If you don't have, if you don't have your logo yet, you can ha then you can take a picture that that like symbolizes your channel. I don't know, but um, basically go to uh, if you have a picture and go to layers up here and click on add image as layer, and this will take you to your files. Basically, select your logo in your computer, and I'm gonna scroll down and find it. Here we have mine, so. Hit open and then, then it will appear on the screen. Now you maybe notice that you can't move around the picture. And a simple solution to this is just click on this thing here. And you can rotate, crop it and everything. You can move it around. So what you want to do is make the picture or the image or your logo a lot smaller. Because this big is, is not going to look good. So you want to fit a lot of other stuff. So we crop it down and you it's you basically select how or you choose how small or big you want it to be, but just don't make it too big or too small. So maybe like this, not it's not too big and it's not too small. And put it in the middle of your of your picture like this. There we got my logo and uh, and the background and look here. The logo colors actually fit a bit with the background as you can see, so that's what I was talking about earlier. Now when the logo is in, your branding is complete, then you obviously want to make this an offline screen by adding a text uh, saying stream offline or something like that. So we just hit the text over here, click on the, pick the image and add, and for the text we type stream offline. Now use like which font. Um, your font has to like fit with your with your channel branding and everything that it fits. Uh, that it basically fits everything. Now this font doesn't look good at all actually, so I'm gonna change this. So maybe like this one. Yeah, this looks actually, this looks pretty fine for me. Um, you can download fonts as Google at Google Fonts and stuff. I'm gonna leave a link to it in the in the description, so you can just click go there in one click. Um, you can so basically here you you change the color to a better color because red doesn't look good with background. So I'm gonna try around with some colors over here. All right, I'm actually gonna use white as the text color because there are some strokes of white over here in the the logo. Again, as we talked about, the uh, the colors should fit in, in your logo background, everything. So it looks really professional, and uh, you can see the um, the size of it. Uh, maybe to 212. This is a perfect size actually. And the styles, you want to spice the text up a bit, and you just hit styles, and just take it here. You can add a background to it. Don't do it honestly, but you can do it if you want to. May may you look good in some in some cases, but for me it won't look good, so I'm not gonna have that. Uh, you can add strokes to it like this. So the stroke color I I'm gonna choose now is a little dark gray one because I have very much dark gray in the wolf on the wolf on my logo, so it just fits very good. You can add a shadow to make the text a lot better actually, and change some settings over here. I like to have the opacity almost at, almost at 100, maybe like 90, because because it just makes the shadow look a lot better. So like this. And here you can see the little, little, little shadow coming down from the text. Now I actually feel like the size is a little small, so I'm gonna make it a bit higher so, or a bit bigger. Maybe like, yeah, 131, that is good. And then we have it uh, in the middle or in the middle over the logo. So let me have it like, like this, boom. Here now we have the stream offline text and I'm actually gonna move it a little bit like this. But when you've got your stream offline text, then you want to basically guide your people that see this screen to uh, your other social medias, which I suppose you have. I really hope you have other social medias for your Twitch account. Anyways, if you so maybe you want to have a Twitter and a YouTube um, channels or accounts that you want to promote well, while you're not alive. Then what you want to do is download the social media logos that you want to use here or that you want to promote. So I'm going to use tw uh, Twitter and YouTube in my example over here. So and once you have downloaded them, also make sure that they are PNG transparent. But once you have downloaded them, go again to layers and add the picture as layer. Here I've got mine, mine ready, mine two logos ready. So I'm going to add them to my picture over here. Oh, this was pretty messy. Also, again, if you can't crop them, then go over to this, the, to the, to this thing, hit it, and then you can crop it and rotate it and everything. 
so when you've got the two or the logos that you, that you want to have on your screen and then you want to make them a lot smaller so uh, like this almost like th this is perfect size actually so you make it make them smaller like that and put them in some corner I su I'd suggest the left corner uh, that makes them would be more eye-catchy actually so uh, we do it and we have it like this maybe make the YouTube logo a little bit smaller so it, it's the size is uh, pretty like to the Twitter logo like that and put the logos like I have done over here you can put them next to each other also um, but but that I um in this picture it won't look good so once you have put them almost like this then add a then you want to add the text for them so people know what your name is on YouTube and Twitter so we add one text over here add and um, we have the at and let's say on YouTube let's say star X and we change maybe the color to white we can do maybe with a stroke of of like I don't know maybe black and um, maybe not maybe no shadow for the social media text and then make it smaller like that and and drag it all the way to to the YouTube one then do the same thing with the other with the your all your other social media that you want to promote so we do another text one add it um, star X and we we do a stroke again with black boom and and drag it all the way to to the Twitter logo now it is not much harder than that actually the only thing the more that you can do here is uh, add like some sort of border to just spice the the picture up a bit and you can do that by just go here click on form and select which colors you want the border to be so let's say you want it to be white then you have both these colors on white and just drag the border like you want it so maybe I want it like this um, boom one eternity later and done the, actually see how much a border can do now with the border it looks so so much more eye-catchy actually and um, I, I think the, this offline screen is pretty good so when you feel like you're finished with your offline screen and you go to archive save and you can name it something so like jpeg as the file type and the quality have it on like 95 or something because if you have it on 100 it will one take a lot of space and two uh, to both twitch and youtube will scale the quality down if you have the max quality of it so just have it on 95 or something then hit the download when you have downloaded a picture you just, you just go to twitch log in go to right upper hand corner click on in settings then channel and videos scroll down all the way till you come here to the end screen with updater where you can just update the end screen hit update um, click there and select your new offline screen we can preview it here and I think it looks pretty good so um, yeah if you, I think I wasn't too clear with explaining all the things so if you have any questions then make sure you drop them in the comment section down below and if you want to see more videos just like this one then make sure you subscribe to the channel with the bell notification is on also make sure you leave a like in the video with that said, see you next video. Storks out.